the Round the Island race is so special because it gets people on the water. It's a fantastic day out, it's really inclusive, everybody can come and have a go and I think it's just a brilliant way of introducing people to our sport. I mean it's a, it's a huge race, uh, very you know, well thought of, everybody's out there doing it and yeah, to come home first and see the whole fleet behind you is a pretty cool experience. My name's Ian Walker and I was the tactician on board Dark and Stormy. I think I've done the Round the Island race probably about 10 times and I've done it on everything from a Volvo Ocean race boat to a corporate charter to a Contessa 32. The Round the Island's a one-off, isn't it? It's our, it's our kind of London marathon, as it were, the chance to get as many people out on the water as possible enjoying a fantastic day sailing. And, and I have to say, you couldn't have ordered better conditions than this year. It, you know, above all else, it was just a wonderful sail. We had a pretty tidy race. We made a good start, we had clear air. In fact, we were the leading monohull at the Needles, which really helps because I know what it's like when you're in the pack, there's boats everywhere. So that helps you save a lot of time. And then, uh, you know, our boat's good downwind. So we were fast reaching to St. Cat's, um, under a lot of pressure, I must say, from Kumbu, the other fast 40. In fact, we swapped places a few times around St. Catharines. And then we got the spinnaker up, and um, it was just a question of whether we could get all the way down to Benbridge uh, without getting blown off to do. In fact, we had to drop the spinnaker. We broached a few times. It was quite full on down to Benbridge. Uh, and then we had about a 300 meter lead at that point. Uh, pretty much coughed it all up at the forts because Kumbu did a great job of going inside us at the, uh, at the fort. And then it, we were literally bow to bow racing up the Solent and uh, fortunately we, we got ahead of them with the Code Zero just before the ride bank and held it to the finish. Uh, for the first time to get line honours. So, you know, it's a great race. It's about getting as many people on the water as possible. And thanks to the fantastic organisation of the Island Sailing Club. The last time a boat won both line honours and the gold Roman bowl was back in 1988. Simon Le Bon's drum, so they're in great company. The winner is sailing dark and stormy, Ian Atkins. Woo! You know, it is our London Marathon in our sport. Anybody can take part. You've got the, you know, the, the best professionals in the world uh, you know, all over the fleet. And then you've got people maybe doing their first ever race. So it's wonderful for the sport. And, uh, and like I say, hats off to the Island Sailing Club for, for keeping us all safe and for it being so well run. And it was a real privilege to sail uh, with, with this team. And sadly, the owner of the boat couldn't make it this week. He, he was double booked this weekend. So he's not actually here. So Ian Atkins, uh, to Ian, thank you so much for letting us sail your boat and trusting us. <laughs> it was a big part of the decision to go outside the wreck. We thought we can't hit the wreck. First of all... He's listening! First of all... <laughs> Also, a big shout out to Kumbu who pushed us all the way and I'm sure that's one of the reasons that we did so well overall was we had a boat breathing down our neck the whole way around the island. I thought we'd lost it to them at the forts. It was a great race, a great day out. Um, thank you very much to the Island Centre. I think it's really a special race. It's like the London Marathon of sailing, isn't it? Everyone can take part, doesn't matter what boat you're in, front of the fleet, back of the fleet. And I've done it in all of them, trust me. And I've never come close to winning this. And, and, and actually, there's a lot of luck in winning this. All you can really do is win your class and then hope that the weather gods and the tide gods suit your class. And, you know, they have done this year. And, and if I'm honest, you look back on the race and actually small bits of crew work were the difference between winning and losing. And that's really rewarding. Yeah, obviously great day yesterday for the GP Zero class and I think, you know, the critical thing yesterday was we were fast enough to get round to have the tide under us from the forts to the finish. Any class slower than us would have had the tide turn against them. So that was a great help. Also, of course, we get clear air quicker out the start line. Um, but you've got to remember that we have a bit of foul tide early on and, um, and there's a lot of advantages normally to the smaller boats. So it's nice that this year, uh, it was one for the faster boats and, and I think the fact we've got so many competitive boats, we push each other to sail better and sail faster and that really helps.